<laughs> it's because I love you. It's because I'm in love with you. I love fitness and I love being yoked. I love talking about fitness. I love doing the daily swole. So I decided to put on my love glasses. You like them? You think I'm sexy? You think I'm sexy? I know you do. Come on in the door. It's Motivation Monday. Check it out. If you touch my beard, I get to touch your butt. Please touch my beard. Please touch my beard. The sun is shining. The birds are chirping. The bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Welcome everyone to episode 360 of The Daily Mother Swole, the most muscular podcast in the realm because when I flex, you flex. We're all flexing our biceps. Thank you for joining me for episode 360 of The Daily Mother Swole, live on Facebook every day at 12 noon Eastern time, YouTube at Swole Normous, and SoundCloud and iTunes for the podcast. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for being here. Motivation Monday is beautiful. It's lovely. Welcome premium members. Welcome everyone to the show. Expectations. Expectations. I touched upon this yesterday uh, in the broadcast to talk about expectations when you go to train. And I touched upon this in my slow motion on YouTube, my vlog, what it means to have expectations. And this is important. This is important. And it really is very it really is very important. I want you to think about what I'm going to tell you, and I want you to think about it in this fashion, okay? What it means to have expectations. What it means to have expectations, obviously, you expect an outcome. You expect an outcome. So when you do something, whether I drink this coffee, when I take a sip, I expect it to be tasty. When I take a sip, I expect it to be creamy, delicious, and lovely. Facts. That was beautiful. Oh, that's amazing. It's exactly what I expected. But that's because I already sipped it, so I knew it was going to be delicious. What you have to understand, and you have to absorb, and you have to chew and you know, mull over in your brain, your mind, not everything is going to go as you expect. Your life and what you do on the daily is not always going to go as expected. You can prepare. You can plan to do things but there's always the unexpected. There's always the potential for shit to go sideways. Does that make sense? And that's reasonable too, I think, to expect that. <laughs> to expect that. That's reasonable to, to accept the fact that obviously we can't control everything. I don't think anyone here is really like truly, oh yeah, I can expect things to happen. You know what I'm talking about. Now let's take that concept and put it in you know, the orb and in the, the sphere of fitness, of exercise. Let's put that in that situation. When we talk about fitness, when we talk about physical training, when you go to the gym, I mean, or at home, when you go to do your workout, I think all of us that want change or all of us that do things a certain way, we have expectations. We have things that we expect to happen. We have things that we want to happen. We have things that are supposed to get done, right? We're supposed to have a great workout. I'm going to the gym, I'm going to crush. I'm going to the gym, I, I'm going to do a leg workout, do chest and do A, B, and C, and I'm gonna feel great. Like I'm going to the gym to get a result. Now we talked about this before. You go to the gym to get a result, nothing's gonna happen right now. Nothing's gonna happen immediately. It's gonna happen over time. It's gonna happen over time. So you have short-term expectations of having or feeling good, or feeling good and getting something accomplished. Getting it done in a certain way that you know is going to pay off in the long run, that's gonna give you results over a longer period of time. The problem is, you're not going to feel 100% every time you go to the gym. You're not gonna feel amazing every time you go to the gym. You're not gonna feel awesome every time you're in the gym to work out. So if you have this expectation or this predetermined way you want to feel or what you expect as like the output, you could very easily be shit out of luck and all of a sudden, you're coming back at the end of a workout and you feel like a failure. A lot of you are gonna feel like you failed by not having an awesome workout, by not feeling great, by not feeling accomplished, by not feeling like you crushed it, when in fact you did. You crushed it as much as you needed to crush it that day. 
And that acceptance of what your output is and what your output should be and what you should feel like your, what you should feel like you have accomplished in that one workout is really whatever you did. If you get it started and you feel like crushing, if you get started and you feel like pushing to the limit, then you do that. And that's why a general warm up, a specific warm up, doing your mobility exercise, your mobility prep, all those things at the beginning of the workout is important to follow through with. Because that kind of gets your body and your mind, okay, how am I feeling right now for my workout today? When I go to the gym, when I go to the gym, and I start getting warmed up, I get my heart rate up, I get, you know, start sweating, you know, get my respiratory rate up, get the blood flowing, start firing up the sympathetic nervous system. And then I start doing, you know, for example, my little pre-workout stretch, my mobility, my dynamic stretching. It's kind of assessing the body, how I feel mentally. Do I feel like crushing? Do I feel like going heavier today? Do I feel like going lighter today? Do I feel like I need more higher repetitions? Do I feel like I need to do more dumbbell work or barbell work? At this point, I'm feeling it out. Because every single day, just because today is, okay, I'm gonna do back today, doesn't mean I'm gonna do deadlifts every day hard. Just because today is leg day or, okay, things are sore and today I'm gonna be training my legs, doesn't mean it's gonna be a murderous workout. But that's what happens. We get so used to having to crush or having to attack and kill and beat shit up in, in like, we get so used to having to destroy things having to have an awesome workout and going to rage at the gym and going to fucking kick ass and X, Y, and Z. That whenever we don't feel like that 110% at the gym, we feel like a subconscious failure or a conscious failure that we didn't do a good job, that we didn't get it done, that we didn't do what we were supposed to. When in fact, today is the way that we were supposed to do it in that way. That's the way we're supposed to do it. Put too much pressure on ourselves. You put too much pressure on yourself a lot of times. You put too much pressure to do things a certain way, to accomplish things that maybe aren't supposed to be accomplished in that day. Remember, fitness is a journey. Fitness is your life. Fitness is what you are going to undertake for the length of your existence, to keep you mobile, to you know, keep your mind healthy. It's all intertwined, it's all one system. It all relates to, to you know, one another. You know, the mind relates to the body, the body relates to the mind. And in today's workshop, you know, that's gonna be more delved into more in the Swolga and the live broadcasting, you know, this evening for mobility. I mean, this is all something that we talk about. We talk about here, talk about in premium. This is, this is what we're always discussing. You know, we're gonna talk about this a little bit more, you know, in, in, in the accountability meeting today in premium, this is like, if you don't have as much expectations, doesn't mean you don't, that, that doesn't mean that you don't work hard. That doesn't mean you don't push yourself. That doesn't mean you don't fucking kick ass. You know what I'm saying? Like this doesn't mean that you're not putting out a ton of effort all the time. This doesn't mean that you back off. It doesn't mean that you give up. It doesn't mean that you don't go a hundred percent or, but it also does mean that maybe you don't go a hundred percent that day. You go 100% for that day. If you feel like you need a little bit more of a chill pace and just to go and go through the motions, you get nervous every time you go to the gym? Well, nervous like butterflies, like you're gonna cry. I mean, there's different, you get that excitement. I understand nervous excitement. And that's fine, like you can get amped up, like everyone's different, like you might go through a period. My point is you might go through a period of a couple of weeks or a couple months where you're amped up and you're, and you're fucking fired up, but then all of a sudden you hit a lull and then you're not as motivated. And a lot of people will feel like that's failing and like I'm, I'm burnt out, I'm overtrained, I need to stop training and they fall off the wagon when in reality all I gotta do is shift the gear, take it down a little bit and keep going and then kick it back up in another couple weeks. Like you, it doesn't have to be balls to the wall every day. That's how you get hurt. You have to listen to your body. There are times for that and there are also times to back it up to understand that it needs to be toned down a little bit. It doesn't always have to be, you know, full out. There has to be that understanding. There has to be that understanding. There has to be that understanding for the body. There has to be that, under, that understanding for you. 
It doesn't always have to be. It doesn't always have to be a hundred percent. It doesn't always have to be just relentless, relentless. When you get rid of expectations and you listen to your body and you do what you should be doing, you do what your body is capable of for that day, that is when you clarify your mind. That is when you open up a lot of new doors and possibilities for how you look at your training, for how you let in yoga and mobility work and stabilization and active recovery. Yeah, focus on what you can do and improving that, not on what you can accomplish. Because if you focus on what you can do, you'll be able to do what you can't do if you're consistent. But you have to be able to adjust. And those expectations of what you're going to get out of your workout, how hard you're going to train, how much you're going to push, maybe you've f***ing amped up. You get to the gym and all of a sudden, you're not feeling it. It's like, ah, you kind of hit that wall. So understand that your expectations, your expectations can sell you short. So get rid of them. Work hard, learn your body, focus, but get rid of your expectations and you're going to be a lot happier in all areas of your life, but especially your training, and less likely when you're going to fail. Less likely when you're going to fall off, I mean. Less likely that you're going to not accomplish what you meant to accomplish. Very important. You can't always have wide open throttle in the gym. You can't always because you're going to get hurt. Because that's the point. You know, you expect a certain thing, so you start forcing shit to get that reaction, to get that effect, and it's not always meant to happen. It's not always meant to be that way. So focus. Focus on yourself. Focus on what you can do. Get rid of your expectations, and that's for today. Going to go in uh, premium for a little bit more, for a little bit more Q&A. We're going to talk a little bit more about the schedule and what's going on with uh, Swolnormous Nation in premium. So let's get into this a little bit more uh, the rest of today. Awesome stuff coming up. Thank you for joining me for episode 360 of the Daily Mother Swole, the most muscular podcast in the realm because when I flex, you flex, we all flex our biceps. Can't wait to, um, can't wait to fucking get into some awesome mobility in uh, Swolga today. Looking forward to seeing premium at 1 p.m. Eastern time as well. Make sure to like, follow, turn on notifications for this broadcast. Swolga Broski. Yeah, we're gonna get into some awesome mobility work today. Everything content starts and kicks off today. Um, I'm gonna be explaining a lot more about that, so uh, make sure if you can catch it live, you're catching it later on if you're in the Swolga live broadcast group. So love you all, thank you for joining for episode 360. Daily Swole Club, uh, for all you fucking animals, all you animals. Ooh. Tee off. Tee off. We're an hour away from tee off. Great. Can't wait to watch some people choke at golf. Dun da dun. Edgardo. Edgardo L. Alejandro. If I pronounce that correctly, Edgardo. Edgardo. Congratulations, Edgardo. Daily Swole Club. Thank you so much, Edgardo. Aldahando, if you are here, float some thumbs up for Edgardo. Make sure you message me, Edgardo, so you can claim your Daily Swole Club giveaway, which is a fucking awesome one-on-one -on -one with Papa Swolio. Thank you so much for joining me for episode 360, watching live at 12 noon Eastern time, watching on YouTube, and listening to the SoundCloud and iTunes podcast, all at Swolnormous. So love you all. Premium, my premium accountability group. I will see you at 1 p.m. Eastern time uh, for more knowledge nukes and do Q&A and all that awesome shit. So love you all. Let's, um, let's see. Let's fucking kill it. It's Monday. That's what I want you to do today. If you take one thing from this episode, I want you to go to the gym. I want you to do your workout and I want you to just do it. I want you to limit expectations. I want you to focus on what you're doing, what you can do and putting in your effort, whatever effort is for that day. I want you to take a deep breath. I just want you to do. Don't stress it. Just go and get stuff done. Focus now. Eliminate expectations. And let's get consistent this week. This is a week to turn everything up. Thank you so much for joining me for episode 360. Love you. Peace out. Deuces. Have a great workout. International leg day. International chest day. Whatever day you are doing today. Fucking crush it. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you're nailing today. And Premium and Swolga, everyone else in my private communities, I will see you later in the evening. Peace. Flex. Oh, Monday. I love Mondays. Later, guys.